Mayors for Peace was established in 1982 as the initiative of the then mayor of Hiroshima. It is a non-partisan organization consisting of over 7,700 member cities from 163 countries and the regions around the world. Mayors for Peace is engaged in various initiatives together with our member cities in order to achieve two key objectives. Realization of a world without nuclear weapons and realization of safe and resilient cities which we believe will lead us to our ultimate goal, that of lasting world peace. In this video, nine of the leading member cities of Mayors for Peace we talk about uh, their own and other states' unique initiatives. First, our efforts on the realization of a world without a nuclear weapons. Uh, L'any 2017, les Nacions Unides van aprovar el Tractat per la Prohibició de les Armes Nuclears. Un pas decisiu en la lluita uh, contra l'armament nuclear. Uh, L'Ajuntament de Granollers uh, va demanar al govern de l'estat eh, espanyol que s'hi adherís, que signés aquest tracte i va fer-ho en sessió plenària per unanimitat. Volem que els estats ratifiquin aquest tractat tal com ho vol eh, Manchester, que també va aprovar aquesta moció, i tal com vol Hannover, per exemple, que es va adreçar al govern eh, alemany. Les ciutats japoneses Hiroshima i Nagasaki han encapçalat aquest moviment i també han demanat eh, al govern Japó la seva adhesió en aquest tractat. Les ciutats belgues han seguit també el mateix camí. Eh, hem d'avançar i hem d'avançar des de les ciutats per aconseguir l'eliminació de les armes nuclears. Mayors are also working hard to raise public awareness on nuclear disarmament in the United States and nuclear superpower. In June 2018, I sponsored a resolution calling for nuclear disarmament at the U.S. Conference of Mayors annual meeting that was adopted unanimously and co-sponsored by 26 mayors. The U.S. Conference of Mayors has adopted Mayors for Peace resolutions for 13 consecutive years. During 2018, more than 10 U.S. cities, large and small, have passed similar resolutions and proclamations. Public awareness about growing dangers of nuclear war is rapidly expanding. Мэры за мир уделяют большое внимание привлечению молодежи к делу укрепления мира на Земле. Ведь то, каким станет будущее нашей планеты, зависит прежде всего от молодого поколения. Мэры за мир разработали учебные программы для молодежи, которые посвящены атомной трагедии Хиросимы и способам сохранения и укрепления мира. В 2018 году эта организация провела первый международный конкурс детского рисунка на тему «Мирные города» который направлен на приобщение к миротворчеству самых юных жителей планеты. Мы организуем крупные международные мероприятия в формате форумов, конференций, круглых столов, на которых обсуждаем возможности общественной дипломатии для укрепления мира. Особое внимание мы уделяем участию в этих мероприятиях молодых людей. В Волгоградском государственном университете был создан Центр общественной дипломатии, на базе которого волгоградские студенты изучили проблемы миротворчества. Школьники нашего города участвуют в программах обмена с учебными заведениями Китая и Германии. Это также способствует миру Steden die lid zijn van Majors for Peace zetten tentoonstelling op waarin de realiteit van atoombombardementen wordt geduid, met als doel de publieke steun voor nucleaire ontwapening te vergroten. Iper maakte al tijdens Wereldoorlog 1 kennis met de vernietigende kracht van het massavernietigingswapen Has. Vanuit deze ervaring hecht Iper veel waarde aan vrede en ontwapening. Een doel dat Iper deelt met de steden Hiroshima en Nagasaki. In november 2018 organiseerde de stad Iper de tentoonstelling De Bom op Hiroshima en Nagasaki en werd ook een overlevende van de atoomaanval op Hiroshima uitgenodigd om te getuigen over dit trauma. De stad Hannover organiseerde een fototentoonstelling over de slachtoffers van atoomaanvallen. Deze tentoonstelling werd bijzonder goed onthaald door het publiek. Sindaci per la pace promuove un progetto per la distribuzione di semi provenienti da alberi che sono sopravvissuti ai bombardamenti atomici di Hiroshima e Nagasaki, a tutte le città che appartengono alla rete dei Mayors for Peace, 
che desiderano riceverle come simbolo di pace. Nell'ottobre del 2015 a Cervi, nella mia città, in occasione di un'iniziativa dedicata alla pace, ho piantato insieme a tanti bambini una piccola pianta nata dai semi di un albero sopravvissuto ai bombardamenti atomici di Hiroshima. Da allora gli alunni della scuola elementare di Montaletto di Cervi imparano la pace attraverso la cura di questo albero. Una pianta proveniente da un albero sopravvissuto ai bombardamenti atomici di Hiroshima è stata donata anche a Guernica Lumo, città nota per la sua tragica esperienza di aver subito bombardamenti indiscriminati contro i civili. La cerimonia di piantumazione ha avuto luogo nel maggio 2018 alla presenza del sindaco di Hiroshima, Matsumi Kazumi. Il sindaco di Hiroshima ha donato anche alla città di Parigi una pianta proveniente da un albero sopravvissuto ai bombardamenti atomici. Ci auguriamo che più città partecipino a questo progetto affinché possano crescere tanti alberi di seconda generazione come simboli di pace in tutto il mondo. Mayors for Peace has currently 24 lead cities and my city Hanover is one of them. We as lead cities host meetings for member cities in each chapter and promote various regional activities. Hanover takes the initiative when the German chapter hold its annual chapter meetings. The city of Granolas, the lead city of the Catalan chapter, takes the lead when Catalan members get together for chapter meetings. In Japan, More than 99% of all municipalities have joined Mayors for Peace. The Japan chapter hold its chapter meeting every year in autumn to discuss ways to promote Mayors for Peace activities in Japanese member cities. The city of Hanover encourages many member cities in the German chapter to carry out Flag Day on July the 8th every year when we hoist Mayors for Peace flags in city halls, calling for opposition to nuclear weapons and proclaiming the preciousness of peace. And we are also organizing an international peace and art project, 50 Cities, 50 Traces, which is held among not only German member cities, but also member cities abroad. Another key objective of Mayors for Peace is the realization of safe and resilient cities. We will always remember the victims of the terrorist bombing which took place at Manchester Arena on May the 22nd, 2017. And as a city, Manchester stands in solidarity with all of those affected by the atrocity. Our great city will defy terrorists by all of our diverse communities working together with understanding and mutual respect. Manchester is deeply committed to teaching peace in all of our schools and we have designed a peace education programme in which children in Manchester learn to solve problems not with violence but in a peaceful way. The city of Montilupa is deeply committed to peace education which we hope will help prevent young people from using violence or joining guns. In 2018, Montilupa designated the whole month of September as the Peace Consciousness Month and conducted various peace programs including a lecture forum and poster making contest. The City of Montreal is committed to provide affordable and quality housing to its population. We are working together with our partners in order to ensure social and economic mixity to maintain strong communities. We are working on a bylaw that will offer a framework for all future developments. It will increase the availability of social, affordable and family housing units. This approach is key to ensure that everyone has access to adequate housing in the context of social mixity. Let's keep building inclusive, safe and resilient cities through affordable and social housing. スポーツを通じた平和の発信にも取り組んでいます。2018年スポーツができる平和に感謝をコンセプトに長崎と広島で試合を行いました。この
次の世代に残していくためにあなたの町も出羽市長会議に加盟してくださいそして一緒に世界高級平和のために行動しましょう。